Hey everybody, it's Nick with Two Brothers Comics. Let's talk about displaying slabs. All right, everybody. So this is what I use to display my slabs. It'll work with new and old CGC slabs, CBCS slabs, as well as SpeedGX slabs, um, and really anything else uh, that you're gonna be throwing up on a wall. So what I do first is get on my supplies. These are 3M command strips, all right? Uh, these are large ones. Um, there's medium and small. I generally go with the large ones, get them uh, in bulk packs at Sam's Club, and we'll talk about how I use those, all right? Um, and that's how I display them on the wall. And then I also use uh, card holders or card display stands. So these are little plastic stands, and I'll link those and kind of show a picture and how much they are. I think I bought 20 of them for about 10 bucks. They come in uh, two pieces, and you put them together. So you do literally just like that. They slide up and down, and I'll show you how I use that. I actually bought them for uh, for two Yu-Gi-Oh cards I have, um, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and then obviously Dark Magician, right? The two iconic cards from Yu-Gi-Oh. That's not what we're here to talk about. Um, so let's talk about how I display them on the wall. So first, I'm gonna grab a slab. You'll notice this is from our CGC unboxing. This one I'm gonna to have to pull back down and send off to uh, CGC again because they misspelled uh, visit up here. But for now we're gonna go ahead and throw it up on the wall. So first thing we're gonna do is flip it over. Uh, put together the command strip. So this part is fairly self-explanatory. All right, I push it all together. All right, now what I do, some people may not wanna do this. I do it for all of mine and it seems to work fine. I cut them in half so that I can uh, either do it like this if you want to, all right, one on top, one on bottom, but I found that, that right there is more than enough to hold the comic. Nobody's freaking out uh, that I'm only using a small half of one. I know this doesn't have the pull tabs on it to get it back off. Uh, if I were to use this, but if I were putting up a really high dollar, you know, a high value slab up there, I would probably just go ahead and use the one. But for now, I'm just using the half of one. I peel it off. Put it right up here, right at the top. Press it down real good. Okay. And then we'll take this. And I'll show you how I measure out and stick it to the wall. Okay. Now, to so say you didn't want to put this up on a wall, say you just had the shelf somewhere you want to display it, um, you know, whether it's the IKEA storage solutions or any other shelving, um, you know, these things don't exactly stand up on their own. You could lean them, but what I found that works really well for me, and they're cheap and they're clear, right? So it's not going to take away from the artwork or anything like that. Okay. So what I found. And these little card holders, again, their card, what they're described as, are uh, card stands. And I found they work great for slabs. Uh, and not only that, but books and top loaders, books and mylar, like you'll see here, Fantastic Four number six, uh, works really great, okay? So what you'll do, put it together, boom, simple enough. If you have it too far back, because these do adjust, It'll flip forward or flip backwards, right? Too much weight. If you have it too far forward, it'll fall forward, okay? Because there's too much weight forward. So you just slightly adjust it. Let's see if I can do that. And then it looks great. It doesn't take away, it's very minimalist, okay? So it works wonderful uh, for uh, any type of, you know, desk, uh, storage shelf, uh, anything like that uh, works really, really well. And if you want, you know, there are some give. So if you want to lean it back a little more, say you have some lights coming down and you want to take off that glare wherever you're displaying it, you can adjust. So there's some definitely some, some play there, some wiggle room for sure. All right, and it works for, again, old slabs, new slabs, CBCS slabs, uh, as well as PGX slabs. So that's one way I'll display 
um, you know, if I'm not going to put it up on the wall. So let's take this. Let's go ahead and pop it up on the wall so you guys can see how I do that. <clears throat> All right, so one tool I did forget to mention, uh, get yourself a level. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. I actually use this for both a level uh, as well as a spacing guide between all my comics. Not going to be perfect. You can spend hours doing this and get it perfect. You know, I'm just going to put it up here uh, pretty fast and simple. So, command strip. Put it on. Simply going to peel it off. Throw that away. I'm going to take my level. I'm going to put it right here next to the other comic. Okay, that's going to be my space. First thing I'm going to do is kind of line up my spacing. I'm going to drop it down here to the bottom. And then I'm going to drop this slab down just a little. Make sure it's nice and level. You see my spacing here. Or you could do it that way. Make sure the comic's level. I'll slide out. It's got a good spacing there. And just kind of play with it till you get it to where it looks right. And a good spacing there. Okay. And then, because I know I put it right below this, I'll push a little bit. Don't push too hard because you can obviously crack the slab, but I've yet to do that. Now, one thing you may want to do, get you a microfiber cloth, wipe it down. That's how I hang all my slabs. Next thing I'm gonna do is come across, hang the rest of them that I'm uh, gonna put up on the wall. All right, we're gonna do one more. Ray number zero. So I'm going to push together push it together. I'm not going to cut this one in half because I do really like this book. Really would hate it if it fell and it's a little bit taller or higher up on the wall. Uh, so I definitely don't want just in case anything ever happened. Uh, that to uh to fall so i'm gonna go ahead and use the full one there it's on you can't see it from the front everything looks great you could let that set up for a minute but it's gonna be fine because these things aren't heavy all right and you probably probably be able to see it a little bit better here too so i'm just gonna drop that here come down i'm not gonna push not gonna push up there yet I'll slide that out and then I'm going to scoot this over. Oh, that slid on me a little bit. And there are better ways to do this, uh, more expensive ways, but for me, this is the cheapest, fastest, no hardware. I don't have to check the level. I don't have to drill. I can rearrange these at any point. I can take them down, put them somewhere else on the wall, pop some off, put new ones on. So for me, this is the most fast, efficient, cost-effective way. I know it, these things are secure. I've never had one fail. And I put a lot heavier things on these than comic slabs. So I'll continue down this uh, with some more books. I'll put some more down here as well. Um, and I also hang... Uh, raw books and top loaders that way. So books that I don't really think warrant the, um, you know, the need to, to go off and slab, you know, I'll put those up there. So I'm going to check one of these out, see which one I want to hang. They're both nine eights, but those will go up there next. So that is how I display my comics, how to showcase them, whether it's on the wall or sitting on a coffee table, a desk, a shelf, uh, you name it, that's how um, a cost effective way you can do it. Um, I'll do another video about how I do my raw copies as well. You know, books that don't necessarily weren't going out and being slabbed, 
I don't think they're maybe high and great enough or the, the money just isn't there in it. If you have any questions, comment below. Feel free to email us at nick at twobrotherscomics.com or dustin at twobrotherscomics.com, and that's with a number two. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. It's going to be a huge help to the channel as we grow. Uh, follow us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, or the other way around. That makes more sense. So for now, collect your way, and as Dustin always does, I, I don't get it either, guys. Just... Dustin, when you get around to watching this, just know this man right here is far superior than any Power Rangers could ever consider doing, including the Green Ranger or Lord Dracon. <laughs>